Hey guys, it's Ada. And I am here to do a quick little makeup look for you guys. Um, first and foremost, I want to say hey for y'all who are new to the channel. Thank you for stopping by. And for those who have been here for a while, thank you for kicking it with me. Highly appreciate it. Um, my channel is mental health and beauty related for those who may not know. Today is going to be a beauty day. So, let's get it. I am going to start my brows. I am going to be using the Quesos um, Brow Gel and this is in the shade black and it looks like this. I also have the clear but today I wanted to use black. So my brows have literally nothing on them. I haven't primed, I haven't done anything like that. So I'm just going in. And let me apologize for the last video that I put up because I was literally like just like this. This is all you can see. Uh, um, so my apologies for that. Like I really, I really, what, what did they say? Screwed the pooch? That's what they say? Yeah. So I need to learn to keep this down so y'all can also see what I see. And keep my head straight. I got black and clear because clear, if I use clear, it's going to allow me to, like whatever color pencil that I'm using, it's going to really pop. But then I use black because black can be used on those lazy days where I really don't feel like doing much to my brows. And I'm just gonna let this, you know, do the majority of the work. If that makes sense. So this is filled then with the brow gel. And this is not. You see what I mean? I'm still going to go ahead and fill in the sparse areas that I see. Just so my brows come up a whole lot filler, fuller. I probably won't touch the front area. But um, I will go through like the back and the tail like that. Um, <sighs> when I talk about everybody to die. I keep telling myself I need new batteries, I need new batteries, I need new batteries. But then the girl never get new batteries. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and with the sharp Charlotte Tillsbury um, brow cheeks, and I am in the shade dark brown. I don't know why I picked the shade dark brown. I definitely could have went darker. Okay, the brows are finished to my liking. So we're gonna move on with primer. I am using the e.l.f. Oreless um, Putty Primer. It's so quiet for my wife in that class. Cause it's just school. She's working on her PhD, education policy. Okay, I'm gonna go brush for this. Yeah, and don't come for me because my stippling, because my brushes in general are dirty. I thought I was gonna have time to clean them before today, but I did not. So after I record these videos, I'm gonna go ahead and, and get to that.
Okay. I'm going to set my face with a translucent setting powder. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Medium Deep. I'm just going to go ahead and set the primer. Okay, that's done. Now I'm gonna go in with the with the foundation. The foundation I'm using is the Charlotte Tilbury Air Brush Flawless Foundation in the shade 14 Neutral. It's not gonna be my shade. Don't no, come for me and tell me that it's not my shade because I know it ain't my shade. But if you just let me continue with the process, you'll be surprised. Okay, okay. Let's do this together. I put a very small amount on because as I said, this this is not my color and I don't want to pile on a shade that does not match me unless there's areas that need just a little extra coverage. That's actually not that bad of a match, to be honest with you. I've seen worse. I have worse. Um, but yeah, I don't think I need more. I always need more. In the areas where I have the deepest or the darkest um, hyperpigmentation, but I really don't put a lot there, like just a couple of dots. But I'm working on these motherfuckers, y'all. Like I'm, I'm working on them. Like they, I'm hoping that they start to disappear. I'm very, I'm trying to be very, very diligent. with um so I gotta deal with them later. You know what I mean? I just don't want I don't wanna I don't know who asks for them. I don't know who said you could be here but I don't want you here. I do not all right, contouring. I'm using the Cream Contour by Anastasia Beverly Hill, and I am in cool brown. But the thing is, I'm not in cool brown. <laughs> I'm so scared to use this concealer. You have no idea. I mean, contour, you have no idea. So, they say you should contour up here. Okay, I'm gonna take a different brush. Okay. Now I'm gonna apply my concealer. I don't know if I did it backwards. Maybe I should have done my concealer before I did the contour. But we were about to see, cause everybody is raving about the whole putting your contour all the way up there. So we about to see what this is in for. And we about to see if I did this all the way backwards. As far as doing my concealer and then A 
okay so pretty much i've been um putting like replicating what i did upstairs downstairs i'm not sure where my camera cut off exactly um yeah so i just took the barbie pink and i layered that down and then i'm going to serenity and i'm just going to blend that out i'm using the same exact brush i'm just cleaning it off as i move on okay that is that next mascara i'm using the maybelline sky high and girl watch what happens oh blush i'm using the uh, milani 08 t rose powder blush in case anybody was wondering These are times where I really wish I knew how to put on lashes. Or I wish my lashes were straight enough so I could actually put on lashes. But my lashes are super curly. As you can see already. Like, curly as a motherfucker. I don't even want to get this trait clip. Like, who did this to me? look and took my lashes from nothing to something and this is definitely the sample size in case everybody was wondering the full size is definitely like a full size of mascara just in case I do have the full size and it is waterproof. I prefer waterproof for mascaras. I don't know why. I don't think they're any different than um regular mascaras. In fact, I think they are more annoying than regular mascaras. Just because it takes more to get them off. I love Maleficent. Oh my god, I love Maleficent so much. It is such an amazing movie. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and line my last one. Okay, I'm going to add a little drama. I really love the way the contour looks. Is this just me? I don't know if I did it right. Let me just say that off the bat. I don't know if I did it right. But what I can say is that I'm enjoying the way it looks. And this is plain pink on my eyes. I'm feeling it. No, I already had a mascara that I messed it up. This is pink on my lashes. I mean, on my eyes. Lips. I forgot my lips. Okay, lips. 
I am using the NYX Professional Makeup what is this? Eye Pencil in the shade Black Brown for my liner. I am using Maybelline Matte 670 um, Ravaging Rose. Now let's see. And this blush. I should have did this one. Let me see if I can put this one on top. If that will work. Okay, let's see if it passes the iPhone test. I don't even have to suck my cheeks in. Like, 